So we just got done talking about building basic formulas within a Microsoft Excel worksheet. We've talked about doing some addition. We've talked about cell references, both relative and absolute references. There's one last topic that I want to bring up here. And hopefully this will spark a memory, although it may be a faint memory, back your head, back from your days of arithmetic or your math classes inside of Excel. And you know what? My fourth grade math teacher would be super stoked that I still remember this concept. And the way that my instructor, my teacher, taught me this is really the reason why I remember it. Uh, she used an acronym. This deals with what's called the order of operation. Calculations can be done left to right, just as you read them, or they can be done utilizing the order of operation. Each mathematical operator, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, exponents, they should happen in a specific order. Now, this isn't something that is only Excel. This is a mathematical concept. Take a look. This is the order of operation, and this is the acronym that was used on me back in fourth grade. This is called PEMDAS, P-E-M-D-A-S. Now, it's an acronym. What does PEMDAS stand for? This is how you're going to remember this. It's please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Got that? Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, PEMDAS. Now, that's, that's an acronym. It's just something for us to be able to remember the order of operation. But how does this apply mathematically? Well, this is the order that these standard mathematical operators should be performed in. Not just left to right. You don't just read math left to right. You do it within this proper order. And this proper order is first, parentheses. Second, exponents. Then you multiply, divide, then you add, subtract. You got to go in that order. So a calculation that you might read just left to right could give you a completely different answer than if you follow the order of operation. Do your parentheses work first, then do your exponents, then your multiply, division, then your add, subtract. Think about this. And again, I hope it's, it's sparked a memory somewhere deep, deep in your head. Now, again, again, this is what I was given. I've heard other acronyms out there. Um, but whatever it is, grasp a hold of that. Think about that as you build your formulas. The nice thing here is Excel already follows this. Okay? It, it already adheres to PEMDAS, to the order of operation. All we need to be concerned with is that we're building the formulas appropriately. If you want something to take place first, make sure it's wrapped inside the parentheses. Regardless of anything else, wrap it in the parentheses that stuff will take place first. Okay? So keep that in the back of your head as you build your calculations within Excel.